Hello my beautiful patrons, how are you today? It's Friday um, and this afternoon I, I'm not working, I, I'm here at home. I'm, I'm doing some admin stuff, you know, some business things and I'm in the Facebook group and um, answering some comments on YouTube, you know, just keeping things, keeping things moving. Um, I hope, I hope you're all well. Um, it's a spectacular day today. Again, beautiful. They are calling this a mini summer. Yeah, that's good. It's good to see the sun. It makes me feel happy. Um, so today's word of the day is this one. Headlong. Headlong. It's an adverb. So we use it with a verb. And it means that um, you, you do something with your head first, right? Head first headlong, right? And you do it without hesitation and without pause. So you could say he he ran headlong into the into the room. You know, he came in with his with his head first and he came in without hesitation or pause. Or you could say he jumped headlong into the water. And you'll notice with this adverb that it has a restriction on its position in the sentence. You, you can only use it after the verb. You can't say, he headlong came in. No. You have to use it after. But other adverbs, yes, you could say, he quickly came in, or he slowly came in, or he came in slowly or came in quickly. You can move the adverb, but with headlong, no. Only after the verb. And I hope that this weekend you throw yourself headlong into your English studies. <laughs> um, and if you do need some motivation to study this weekend, I have some for you. So a lot, a lot of motivation in life is about perspective, right? I think. <laughs> um, understanding your, your, your place in the world and how many opportunities are available to you and how lucky you are. That can be super motivating. Uh, to me it is. Um, and perspective is, is an interesting thing. Think about this. When the Titanic sank, you know, in the middle of the ocean, it was a, a disaster for a lot of people. It was, um, you know, the, the worst thing that could possibly happen. But for all of the fish and the lobsters and all of the other marine animals that were in the kitchen of the boat, it was a miracle. <laughs> An absolute miracle. They were returned to their natural habitat. So, you know, perspective is important. And I was reading recently... Um, on the BBC News website um, about this. Okay, it's, a, it's an article called The World's Toughest Place to Study and it's incredible. So there is a university in America, it's an online university called the University of the People and uh, basically it's free and the great thing is when you finish this this online course they give you a real degree, okay? It's not, it's not like worthless piece of paper that, that you know, is only for, for fun, okay? This is a real degree that you can use to get a real job, and it's free. It's an incredible thing. Um, it's a brilliant thing. And this story is about people in Syria uh, who, are, who are continuing to study. I mean, listen to this, right? Listen to this. Um, um, where, where is it? Um, okay. Um, this is a person talking about when, when, when they are studying during the, the bombing. Okay. Of course, there are a lot of psychological effects because of what is happening around us, says Mahmoud. When the bombardment, the shelling, gets very heavy, the only thing we think about is survival. And then when the bombardment gets better, even for a short amount of time, 
we go back to thinking about our jobs, our studies, and what we are going to do in the future. I want to graduate to have a degree. For us, under siege, that's a very big opportunity. It gives students hope. I'm motivated uh, to learn and I want to keep learning. If I have the chance, I want to be part of the process of rebuilding the country again. So these, these are people who, who are studying, you know, when they, when, the, the, there's two parts of their life thinking about dying and studying and that's it and it's inspirational and so please appreciate how lucky you are how many opportunities you have available and use that as motivation to to do something this weekend with your English um, anyway uh, I'm gonna go and continue my work and um, I'll see you here again very soon. Lots of love. Bye.